just curious on your thoughts about uh, something. Is it okay? It's kind of off topic. Yeah, pardon me? The, my, I'm curious about your thoughts on a matter, but it's a little off topic. Off topic, uh-huh. Okay. So, <laughs> well, you mentioned the Holocaust uh, a lot of times in your speech, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the Nazis, they, they were pretty religious, weren't they? Well, they had a church. I well, mean, this, this gets into a very interesting debate. Uh, Hitler found it useful to use the state church to come to power. Uh, but the so-called confessing church in Germany, die bekennende Kirche, the confessing church, opposed Hitler. And many of these men, like Dietrich Bonhoeffer, for example, one of the most notable th of these theologians, died in the, in the death camps because he, he opposed Hitler. So what I would say, Bible-believing Christians stood against Hitler, and many of them suffered and died in the camps because of it, those members of the confessing church. But you're certainly right that there was this kind of nominal state church Christianity that Hitler found useful to exploit. But what is very interesting is documents show that Hitler, once he consolidated power over the Third Reich, also planned to eliminate them and to establish a kind of Nazi ideology with its own religious system, which was very anti-Christian and, and pagan. But what if, so the Nazis themselves, during World War II, they consider themselves Christian? I don't know. I mean, you would have to ask that on an individual basis, by case-by-case uh, case basis. Were the SS in the camps Christians? I don't know. Or did they consider themselves Christians? Again, I don't know. Yeah. 